their nervousness doesn't trump my rights. It's true, it's true. But uh, they do have a right to not be filmed on their property. It's federal. I'm not on federal property. Filming. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Hi Gucci Seasons, thank you for coming to my channel. If you are a first time viewer, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for future video notifications. This video is from YouTube channel Watching Waiku. The original link is in the description. Please subscribe and give credit where credit is due. Guys, when you are done watching this video here, please don't forget to post your comments and as always guys, if you would like to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the video, let's get it into. Good, how you done? I don't need any help. I don't need any help. No, sir. Um, what does it look like I'm doing? Okay. I'm sure you can understand why taking a video of the gate in the U.S. military base might be considered not wise. Not wise? Oh, okay. Can I get your name and badge number? I don't have a badge number. I'm just security. But hey. uh, my name is Jake. Yeah. With who? You work with who? Seccoms. Okay. Mind if I take your hand out of your pocket? No, it's cold. I understand. I don't have any weapons. I'm not armed. You uh, just have down with passport? Yeah. I just got cigarettes in here. That's it. Make my keys. That's all. Sure. Makes me a little nervous. You know what I mean? No, I'm, not, I'm not here to do any make make anybody nervous or do anything. I'm just I that, doing a story. No. Their nervousness doesn't trump my rights. It's true. It's true. But uh, they, they do have a right to not be filmed on their property. It's federal. I'm not on federal property. Filming. Federal. I'm allowed to. Are you? Yes. Under what law? Um, it's the Constitution. Sorry. It's the Constitution. Constitute really? Freedom of speech is the same thing. Freedom okay. Of okay. Well, you're you, you're good. You can go. What? You're good. I'm I'm gonna keep on doing what I'm doing. Right. Sir, I have to ask you to leave. Uh, I'm not going to. Can I get your name? No. You can't get your name. I don't answer any questions. Don't answer any questions. No. So. I would like you to leave. I can call the police. Well, I would like you to leave so I can continue what I'm doing. I can't do that. It's my job. Okay, well, call who you had to call. I mean, I've already talked to them. They're not going to do anything. I'm going to still be here when they leave. So, you could, you could do what you got to do, or you could just go back in and let me do what I got to do and I'll be gone. I wish I could. All right. I already noted I'm not on their property. It's not. You don't that's that's a huge security risk, man. I'm not answering no more questions. I, I didn't ask you a question, I'm telling you that's a security risk. Okay. There's, there's all kinds of, of anti-terrorism, counter-terrorism issues that you're causing. With the film with the camera? Yes. Okay. Can you ask them to bring some pizza? Me call them? Yeah, I'm a little hungry. Maybe it'd, maybe it'd be nice to bring us some pizza. Hey, so I'm with Tina. This is uh, Jacob Sikos. Listen, uh, we're outside of gate 5. Got this guy videoing here. He's uh, watching your gate.
Ah, he's just filming right now. He's not. You didn't ask them to bring some pizza. If I thought they were going to bring pizza for both of us, I would have asked. A few moments later. Badge number? Badge number's right there. My name's right here. Is that what you tell the judge? I can't see your name. Okay, I already told you. Say it again? I already told you. What? Obviously, you're recording. Anything else from us? Hey, sir. Are you Michael? Yep. Pretty sure. No one. Sounds good. Other than being right here, you can go over there. Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, I'm uh, Officer Smith, Paul 17. Dismissed. You're not talking to me. I'm here all day. Me too. Yeah. I get paid for it. Right? Me too. Yeah. You? Give me that. Anything from those guys? They go actually go back to work. I never called them out here. The video features a dialogue between another video referred to as the narrator and the police officer identif identified as Officer Peterson. The narrator had left a police department and Officer Peterson began following them. The narrator is uncooperative and refuses to answer questions or provide identification. They assert that they have not committed any crimes and therefore don't need to give their name. The video escalates as Officer Peterson tries to detain the videographer who requests to speak to a supervisor. The supervisor is called, but the situation doesn't lead to any resolution. 
the videographer eventually asks if they are still being detained and then this decided to leave questioning to the use of tax dollars for such encounters. This is some lessons learned from this video. Number one, rights to remain silent. The videographer in, the, in this video exerts their rights to remain silent and not answer questions. As protected by the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. This interaction serves as a reminder that individuals can choose not to answer questions posed by law enforcement if they believe they haven't committed a crime. Number two, a questioning a supervisor. If you feel uncomfortable or believe your rights are being violated during a police encounter, you can request to speak to a supervisor. A supervisor may provide a higher level of oversight and potentially help the escalate the situation. Number three, transparency and accountability. The video highlights the importance of transparency and accountability in law enforcement. The video videographer questions the use of tax dollars for what they perceive as intimidate tactics and unproductive encounters, emphasizing the need for accountability in public services. Number four, keeping a safe distance. During the interaction, the videographer maintains a safe distance from the officer, emphasizing the importance of personal safety during encounters with law enforcement. Number five, recording interactions. The videographer records the encounter, which is a common practice to document interactions with law enforcement for accountability and transparency. Filming interactions can provide a record of events and actions taken by both parties. Number six, de-escalation. The video demonstrates how these tensions can escalate during police citizen interactions. The escalation techniques both by the individual and the officer can help prevent confrontations from escalating further. That's going to do it for this video. Much love to our video. Make sure you use the link in the description to show them some love and check out his most recent videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.